Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to more Test Drive Unlimited on the PlayStation 2, where in this video we get to do one more club before I head back to racing, and I don't know what club that's going to be yet. I just did a club using this car, so um, I guess we'll see what I can figure out. Uh, I guess I could actually just buy a car, even. Um, I could buy the CCR, finally. I think I'm gonna save that for later though. Uh, I am definitely running out of clubs to do as well. As mentioned, I think there's eight left as of right now. Could buy a Roadster. I have been eyeing up the uh, Pagani Roadster. Okay, what is a GT one? What, 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 are, what are my options here? Cause I, I kind of am intrigued by the GT club, GT racers club. Ah, the Mustang GT, interesting. Um. Wait, let me actually look at the overall list of usable cars. Is there are only one A-Class car that can go in this for GT. Oh, I guess the, uh, the Gallardo. Huh. The Gallardo is the highest class car here. I could buy a Gallardo. Do I have anything? I mean, I have the Noble, but I want to use a different car. And nothing in here is actually different from what I've used in the past. All right, let's go figure out a car real quick. I think I'm just gonna buy the Gallardo. Probably the Gallardo Coupe. And then we'll move on to uh, actually doing it. Lamborghini's up here, right? Yeah. Not the Gallardo though. Um, what about down here? Uh, what about this? There we go. There's the Gallardos. Ooh, I forget how cool the Lamborghini dealer looks inside. Like a few of the dealerships actually have like really different looks to the inside of them. Specifically Lamborghini and Mercedes are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Um, but I guess we will go ahead and buy the Gallardo Coupe because um, I could buy the Roadster. But eh. Actually, the Roadster has more power than the Coupe, which is odd, actually. Um, it is more expensive. Eh, I'll buy the Coupe. I bought a lot of Roadsters recently. I'll have a look at it, and uh, hey, I forgot the Gallardo does have normal opening doors. It's not a weird Lamborghini door situation. Automatic. Damn. Does it even have? I don't see the paddle shifters. Oh, I guess maybe that's the the basis for them. The the silver coming out the sides. Yeah, never mind. Uh, it does have a GPS, but again, in this version of the game, the GPS doesn't actually work like it does in the 360 version, unfortunately. But there's all of our stats. And we will go ahead and pick it up. Uh, so we have wheel choices. We have the five spokes. Um, we have a different set of five spokes. Ooh, I like the black wheels. I haven't actually had like blacked out wheels on any of my cars yet in this game, I don't think. Unless I'm forgetting. And we have all sorts of different wonderful colors to use. I thought there was a green to use on this. Or was that the color I made by Murcielago? go? No, I made it like orange, I think. Right? I don't remember. Light blue is kind of interesting, actually. I think I want to go with... I want to go with the bright orange, though. And so many interior colors. Does my chain... I don't even have a seat. What the hell? There's no driver's seat. I should be able to see it, right? I think so. What the hell? Uh, so I could get an orange interior. Orange-ish to match the outside. I could literally be insane and get a blue interior. Or I could get the black and orange interior, which I actually kind of like, the two-tone. We'll go with that. Yep, I will purchase the Gallardo and we shall use it. Okay, yet another Wambo has been added to the fleet. And let's hop over to the club, which is actually not very far away from this dealership. For GT cars, Grand Touring cars. All right. I still never bought back the Mustang. I guess maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, I guess I could. There's not really a reason to. Um, actually, since we're going down to a lower class car... Might as well use some different cars as we go through this. 
I actually have a lot of different cars that can go into this, funny enough. Um, let's use, let's use a Skyline. I don't know. I feel like the Skyline and the Mustang could be cool. I don't know. I don't know why. Anyways, it's driven by Glenn Cisano. Cisano? I guess would be how you say that. Cisano, maybe? All right. Let's get started here. All right. Oh, we're actually, uh, yeah, we're in the south eastern corner of the map. I like this corner of the map. I mention it a lot because I've done races down here a lot, but I like this corner of the map. I like driving up and down this road. I do it. I've done it way more times than I ever should have um, for no reason other than just to do it. So I also feel like I haven't driven the Skyline in a long time, which is a good reason to use it in my opinion. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. I guess maybe we're just going around the corner up here because I don't... Unless we actually do get up to where the road starts branching off up here. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Or we might go to that little weird, uh, the little loop that goes off the left side of the road up here. Is that where we're going? No? Question mark? Oh, that's unfortunate. Reset. <laughs> no, we are not going there. So have a mile left. We might be going off onto one of the other side roads or just continuing down the straight road. I actually don't know. <laughs> Uh, looking at it, it might just be going straight down this road, and I think it actually is. Interesting, interesting. And across the line. Glenn is somewhere back there. Oh, there's Glenn. All right, 12 seconds ahead for our first race. Keep losing money. I keep seeing my money just go down and not get replenished. Although I know as soon as I do more racing, I'm absolutely going to have a shitload of money. Um, but, well, now I get to pick a C-Class car. You know what? I haven't used the, uh, the 8C in a long time. But we shall use the 8C to go up against the V8 Vantage, driven by Sue Eves. I gotta say too, I know I've said it a lot and I will probably continue to say it as long as I'm still playing this game. This is a really good game. A really good port of a really good game too, nonetheless. Like yeah, it's got its its limitations because, you know, PlayStation 2. But, I feel, I don't know, I still feel like they did a really good job at porting this game over and getting the whole experience of the 360 and PC versions onto the PlayStation 2 and the PSP. Don't forget, this is basically how the PSP version looks, minus a little worse graphics, a little worse frame rate, and uh, a little less content, I think. Like, a very slight amount less content. And, like, no interior view and stuff like that. Um, this is a really short race, what the hell? But yeah, I don't know. I've, I've had a ton of fun playing through this version of the game and actually fully experiencing it finally. As I've said, this was my first version of this game, technically. Uh, the PSP version was my first version, which is, again, very similar to this PS2 version. So, it's kind of crazy that just now, over 15 years later, I'm finally actually experiencing the full game, rather than just fucking around in, like, the beginning of the game. Eh, it's kind of nice. Um, you know what? I want to use... I want to use the Vanquish, actually. I don't know why I chose the Vanquish over the Exige. But, racing against the Exige, uh, driven by Shannon Danson. The name. Let's go. Big versus small. But yeah, I guess uh, I feel like this version of this game has more than enough content. Like, to last you. I mean, look how long I've been playing this game. Uh, how many hours I've put in this game. Not just even looking at the 17 or whatever hours that it says in the uh, the stat screen, but the fact that I've uploaded like 25 hours worth of video, uh, and that doesn't even include like a few videos, I think. I think that's without like the most recent video I just uploaded. 
and uh, of course this one and the previous one. But yeah, it's uh, it has a lot of content, and it doesn't feel stale either. Like usually about this time in a game, I'm kind of like, man, this is this is kind of stale. Like it's getting very repetitive. Like to be fair, it's not like the most interesting game at this point still like I've seen pretty much most of what it has to offer but there's always still new stuff to do there's always new parts of the map that I haven't really discovered or been to yet um, different roads that I haven't taken that are being used in new events and so on and so forth I don't know I think it holds up a lot better than a lot of other games like you know you look at like Need for Speed Underground 2 which is also a fairly long game if you want 100% it. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it almost gets more stale just because you are continuously driving through the exact same spots on the maps. Um, like, the, the customization is neat, but once you realize that every car has a variation of the same parts, it's not as interesting. And this game has, like, this version of this game, I think, has like two or three times the amount of cars than uh, Underground 2, and also a lot more variety, too, of cars. So, that's just my own personal take. I do still think Need for Speed Underground 2 is a really good game, of course, but it definitely shows its age uh, once you get pretty far into the career mode of it. Uh, anyways, up next, I guess I'll just stay in this car since we were racing against another one, another Vanquish SV12, driven by Toby Trepto. That's a last name I've never heard of either. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But also, think, let's see, what, what other, like, PS2 games? Obviously, Gran Turismo 4 is, like, its own beast. Like, you can't even really compare this in Gran Turismo 4 besides the fact that they have cars and driving in them. Um... And they're for definitely different uh, different people for the most part as well. Although they, they are kind of like, I don't know, I feel like there's some sense of like, I wouldn't ca say simulation, but I guess realism with this game that Gran Turismo 4 also shares because that is more of a simulation based game. Uh, it's not a simulation game, but it's definitely more leaning towards it than most other games on the PlayStation 2. But, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like most want, Need for Speed Most Wanted in Carbon definitely take a much different route than Underground 2 took. At the next intersection, turn right. In my own opinion, right. I suppose. I don't know. I just think this game has aged really well. Like, shockingly well for being a PS2 demake of a huge... Xbox 360 aim. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I would definitely recommend if you have interest, or if you've even played the 360 version of Test Drive Unlimited, I feel like you'll still have a good time with this. So I would definitely recommend playing it. And it's easy enough to emulate. Like, it's not perfect on PCSX2, but it is pretty good. And you can also emulate the PSP version, which again is very similar to this. So. Yeah, I'll talk more about my true, like, overall final thoughts of the game whenever I get to the end of the, uh, the playthrough here, but I don't know. I can't help it. I can't help talking about this game in a good way just because it's actually so good. Like to the point it's actually legitimately shocking how oh, how good it is. Especially from somebody who's played a bunch of other PS2 and Xbox games. Like I can't think of an Xbox game that even gets close to the scope of this game even. Even though the Xbox was technically uh, the console that could handle the bigger games of this generation. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn I'll handle them better for the most part. Of course, barring Gran Turismo 4 from that, because, you know, it's Gran Turismo 4. But yeah. It gets a recommendation from me, for sure. And I'm not trying to be biased, because 
I'm literally named after this version of this game. <laughs> Anyways, I've been just kind of cruising through this club. Where are we at now? Vice President time, I think. Is it the V8 Vantage is next? No. Oh, it's Alpha 8C. Interesting. Um, do I have any other C-Class cars? You know what? I want to use a Lotus now. All right, Jorge Ley. I think that's how you would say that name. In the Alpha 8C, time to take that vice president sp spot away. Why did that load so quickly compared to everything else? I barely had time to drink a small drink of water. And one more thing I kind of want to mention, I guess, that of why I think this version of this game is actually so good. The whole point system means that you kind of play through the game a lot differently. And like you try and do stuff like sliding around corners and slipstreaming and stuff like that just to get points, uh, especially earlier on in the game. The truck took such a wide turn. So it really is like a very different experience from the 360 version, even if it's the same map with a lot of the same cars and so on and so forth. Same kind of events and whatnot. And the clubs also add a little bit of something, I think, too. They are definitely unique. And, of course, the uh, uh, the series races, the, uh, the green events, are also very interesting and different. Because you don't get anything like that in the 360 either. Yeah. Turn right. I think people, more people should play this version of this game. Again, definitely not biased. Like, just looking at the objective things, I feel like works. Oh, hey, we're in this area. Oh. Yeah. played this version and you're watching this I would also recommend playing the 360 version because again it's a lot different and you will have a much different experience but also still have the same kind of core test drive unlimited experience with that version as well so I would definitely recommend both versions of this game nine seconds ahead let's take care of this president real quick Alright, Jonathan Fung in the Lamborghini Gallardo Coupe, which means I'm, I guess I'm finally going to actually drive my Lamborghini Gallardo Coupe, because I just didn't use it up until this point, which is fine, I don't care. Let's go. Alright, I did manage to choose a different color scheme, which is cool. And... Let's finish up the club, the leaving only seven clubs left to do, which is still a few for sure, but definitely not 34 or whatever it started at. I think it's 34 total um, in this game that you have to do. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. That, excuse me, coming through. We're getting there. We still got some hours left in this game, but we're getting there. Ooh. Huh. Bastard! <laughs> that thing got launched. Oh my god. Go this way. We're actually ending this race in the exact same spot as the previous race, I think. Or close to it. I don't know. I've been just on autopilot driving this entire time. <laughs> talking about this game. Yeah, no, this is identical. To where I literally just ended the race at. Whee! Congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free once again. Can I help you? <laughs> Did you have to do that? Whatever. Four seconds ahead, almost exactly. And there we go. I like that it my my points is two 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 zero seven seven seven. Make a wish. 
All right. Well, I guess that's that. One more club down. Like I said, I think there's seven left to go now. No skipping on the music again. Hell yeah. All right. I suppose it's now time to just head back to the house, look at some stuff, and call it good once again. And next episode, you will see my uh, my intentions of what I plan to do. Um, well, partially for the end of this game. I guess we'll go through my news real quick. Congratulations, next week upgrade is free, of course. Um, yeah, GT Racers was the one I just did, right? Yeah. And there we go. That leaves seven invites left in the entire game. Of course, still 65% done. Wasn't expecting to get another percentage out of that. And uh, yeah, almost 18 hours in the game. Have a look at our garage and call it good, I guess. All right. Have a look at my my uh, very finely crafted garage here in this uh, four car house garage house place but that will conclude this video thank you all so very much for watching and i guess i will see you in the next one where we get on to the master rank finally